Hello guys, it's me again. So today we are doing Dragon B10 guide using budget comp. And by budget, I mean this comp are attainable to you as new players, and you don't have to spend a single money to get them. Now, for those of you who have watched my Giant B10 guide budget comp, I have good news for you, and it's that the comp that you can use for this budget Dragon B10 is very similar with only a little minor twist. Okay then, so for Dragon B10, instead of using Bernard, we are going to substitute him with the Fire Empire. And instead of the Shannon, we are going to substitute her with the Megan. Holy shit! All you did was replace one bitch with another bitch! And as usual, we are going to test out what are the runes that requirement to make this combo. Now, currently I have OP runes on my monster. So what we're gonna do is that, I'm going to nerf the runes on my monster, it's one. Starting from the slot one, this is gonna be gone. Then the third one, also gonna be gone, and so on. Until we hit a wall. That is probably concluded, what are the stat requirements we need to make this comp work? So what are we still waiting for guys, let's go! So this time, we have 3 units from the fusion. The Sigmarius, the Dark Ifrit, and the Fire Vampire. You can get all these 3 from the fusion. As for the Megan, you can get her from Musical Scrolls. Or you can also collect her pieces from the Magic Shop. Now for the Bella, you will still have to go to the chat during Blood of Hero. Whenever somebody finds a Hall of Hero like in Ugami Dungeon, then you will soon have to start begging. I know guys, it sucks and it's gonna stay that way for a very long time, okay? So, what makes this comp very strong is that Peromos works in sync with the third very well. I mean, in these states, what's scary the most is that the defense break being put on your monsters and the dodge being put on your monster. But look at that! With the Pheromos and the third, we are going to make sure that the Pharaoh is gonna get a turn to, to cleanse any of those debuff. Now the reason I don't use the Water Phoenix, uh, the reason I use the Water Phoenix leader instead of the Fire Vampire is that we are prioritizing survivability for this calm. We are not trying to you know kill the boss before the crystal puts up immunity stuff like that. No, this is not a speed clear calm. This is a budget calm that focuses on survivability. Now before the boss puts up any immunity, we can damage the boss. Let's just damage the boss as high as we can. This is what I call the bonus damage stage. Yeah, look at that. Now after the boss puts up immunity, I know it's gonna suck but don't worry, we have both the Bella and the Megan to strip away the immunity, just like that. And if we're lucky, our Pharaoh is gonna put dots. And you know sometimes the dragon moves uh, before the tower. So the step really helps guys. Now the Water Phoenix, as you know it, scales with the HP of the boss. So you don't need that much attack on the Phoenix and it's still gonna hurt. Look at that. Works like a charm. Alrighty, now that we are at the second stage, none of our monsters have slot 1 anymore on theirs. No more slot 1 guys. So our status has become weaker. And we are going to see if this status is still enough for us to just YOLO straight to the boss and auto. Since Pharaoh, Moss, and Firth are what holding this comp together, I say it is necessary for you to have a high crit rate on your Firth because a Firth that doesn't crit does not an abolish passive. So I say it should around 85 or 100% should be nice. The higher the better, cause that way the more turn that your Pharaoh Moss is gonna take thanks to the attack bar boost from your Pharaoh Moss. Now the reason I use Megan instead of Shannon for this is obvious right, I know you guys know it too, because Shannon is wind and Megan is water, therefore Megan is gonna take way less damage from Shannon, especially when she's 5 star just like that Shannon. That's gonna help a lot, especially since the focus on this comp is that we are going to YOLO, but keeping in mind about the survivability of the unit. Yes, this is a YOLO comp, which means we are going straight for the boss. I know you guys noticed it, and we do not have to go for the right crystals or the left crystals first. We can just go for the boss since we have two strippers, which is another reason I use Megan instead of the Shannon. Now, getting a high crit rate on your third mm, should, should be possible. I mean, I. I mean, usually people don't attempt Dragon B10 until they can attempt Giant B10 and they can farm enough good Great Runes from there. So yeah, Great Runes is gonna help you guys achieve the crit rate necessary on the first. 
Now don't worry about the speed too much. We are going to find out how much speed anyway that the word required to make this combo. Here we are again at the bonus damage state of the boss, still dealing high damage. The ice volcano taking chunk of damage from the boss HP. Well, that's unfortunate that the boss resisted both our strips. Now, this is why, guys, you need to have some accuracy on your monsters. The maximum cap uh, resistance that the boss have is the 65%. So you need 45% uh, accuracy to land your debuff consistently. But I say around 20, 30 is also fine. Cause if you're not gonna have at least some accuracy, then yeah, it's, the run is gonna be less consistent. That's what's worth. And with these stats, we don't even need to heal with the Belladion. Let's see how far we can go, guys. Here we are at the third stage. Seeing as it was still way too easy for our unit, I decided not to take just one rune this time, but two runes, guys. So. Only 3 runes left on its monsters, and notice that their status, they are way less squishier, way less speedy, but this Pharaoh, I mean this further, still has 100 crit rate. <laughs> and the Megan. Of course the Megan being 5 star is gonna be squishiest. Let's see how fair they do. Let's see if we're gonna notice any difference, if any of our unit is gonna fall below. Uh, 30% that our Bella would actually care to heal. But so far, looking good. Now, the thing about Water Phoenix is that, since this is a fire elemental dungeon, she has an elemental advantage which gives her another 15 crit rate aside from her 15 crit rate from the awakening. Therefore, no matter what, your Water Phoenix in this dungeon is gonna have at least 45% crit rate. I say it's not bad, guys. Now, the mid boss is usually the scariest part of the dungeon. Cause sometimes, yeah, like that, the crystals might put defense break on your unit, and then thanks to that defense break, they're gonna start focusing only on that unit with defense break. And if your foot is not fast enough, or if your unit is not tanky enough, then that unit with the defense broken on might die before the pheromones cleanse the defense break. But there we go guys, since we only have 3 runes on each of monsters now, Bella actually has to heal. And it's always nice of the Megan buff. The only thing I don't like for Megan is that her buff is not returned on that Shannon. Alright, the defense break, always nice to have on the early states before the immunity is put up. And the dots, the more dots you put, it's gonna give way more damage to the boss because at the first state, the boss is definitely going to move before the crystals on the right. It is looking scarier since our Bella actually now has to heal. And we got resisted. That's not good. But the Bella? See, this is what's so good about having two strippers. If one fails, you still have another backup. And yes, we're gonna win this one too. So this is still possible. Now let's see if we can clear this dungeon only using two runes on this monster. This is it, the scariest part of the run, where we take the slot 2, which is one of the most efficient runes that we can have in the game. Slot 2, slot 4, slot 6, the most efficient runes that really matters. So this is what stats we end up having. Our Sigmarius is so squishy, so slow. And the Pharaoh. Ooh, with this speed, can he even make it in time to cleanse anyone? And the Bella. Yep, that's one shitty as status. <laughs> this one is so slow now, since we took away the slot 2. And his crit rate actually suffers now into 92%. No comment, the Megan just sucks. 
Now, in case if you guys are wondering why I don't six star my Megan, is cause I believe, guys, I believe that I'm gonna pull a bestat, okay? So I'm saving my Rainbow Mon for the bestat. <laughs> this is Dragon B10. The stat requirement for Dragon B10 is definitely higher than Giant B10. So actually, with only two runes on our monsters, I say we're actually kind of pushing it, guys. Well, not at the early stage from the 1, 2, and the 4, but at the semi bit mid boss fight and the boss, we're gonna see the clear difference and why this status is not gonna be consistent in the long run. Now, I have doubt that we can even clear this dungeon with this status. Yeah, this is still gonna be easy. That crystals even with the defense break. Oh, what the heck, man? <laughs> only. All it takes is just two shots from the crystals to almost one shot our unit. So that's scary. Imagine on the next stage, what if the gyros moves right after those two attacks? One unit is definitely gonna die. Oh, but our Bella's so smart. He's oh, ho, ho, ho. see what I mean, guys. See what I mean. I just predicted that. So this is not gonna work. Don't use this status for Dragon B10, as this is not gonna work. Well then, since we cannot clear this dungeon with only 2 runes on slot 4 and 6, I decided that I'm gonna help the status by putting back the slot 1 into them. Okay, now the status are less shit, so let's see how, let's see if this is reliable and if we can get successful, successful run with this. Cause if we can, then I'm gonna conclude in this guide that these are the minimum stat requirements that you need to use for the giant V10. I mean Dragon V10. Now, the reason we lost that fight is now with only 2 runes on our monster is that our bird only has like what, plus 36 speed right? So that's not fast enough to to make the pheromorph move and fence the defense break before it kills a single unit. But this time, with slot 1, 4 and 6, I think we're gonna see clear difference. Anyway, let's speed up to the place where we died. Okay, uh, so nice. The Pharaoh and the Water Phoenix actually can just stun lock the enemies right there so that no defense break coming up this time. That's what's so good about the Water Phoenix. I mean, I don't just pick the Water Phoenix just for his raw damage, but also for the CC that makes this run more reliable and faster. And look at that now, it's way much safer. And we can auto this. Ooh, looking good guys, looking good. There it is. Now our fort is actually faster. You guys see that? Uh, now we're gonna cleanse the defense break. Nice. I think this stat is nice. I think this is it guys. We'll just have to see at the boss, okay? This is the moment of truth. Can we clear this boss using the status? Nice. The spell from the Megan is gonna make the dragon breath not hurt. <laughs> and that is only how much we can capitalize on the early damage tips. But it's okay, that's okay. We still have the Bella heal after all. Nice, nice defense break. Oh, but the tower just flanged it away. Come on, Bella can you strip? Ha, okay we got it. Now, 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 now. Come on, come on, can we, can we land attack break? Hmm, we did not land the attack break. But even if we do, we're just gonna get cleansed. <coughs> See? This is actually gonna work. I don't see us losing at this point. I mean, we have full HP back. And the boss is gonna get defense broken, and this is it. No way it's gonna come back.
I guess this is it guys. It's time to conclude the stat requirement for the budget com for giant for dragon with him. So for the water phoenix, you just need to aim for around 9000 HP. Mm, don't really care about the attack that much and the crit rate, okay? Because as I said, she's gonna have 45% natural crit rate in this dungeon. And as for the pharaoh, this is a common build for support. Make them around plus 10,000 and then a little speedy. Yep, you can even shoot the same status on the Bella. Because I feel like I give my Pheromos a stronger rune set than my Bella. So actually this status on the Bella also will work on the Pheromos. Now you guys see the, the, the key here. I think plus 64 is the key. Yeah, this one is also around plus 60. So I say for the support, aim for around plus 60. So it's the third, plus 60. I guess that's it guys, plus 60 speed. And around plus 10,000 HP should be should be should be possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys can go to the. Uh, you can use use the five star runes from the dungeons, and it should make up for my lack of rune. And even without your tower max, you guys are still gonna be able to achieve this. Yeah, same 60, 10,000. Okay, so I hope that this guide was useful for you. I hope to see you guys again in my next video. If you guys have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. And I'll see you next time on my next video, okay? Bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the bell button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Discord, which you can find the link down below.